Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, boot lickers, shills, nestlers, earth, peasants, vassals, minions, Zionists. I'm a useful idiot. Welcome. And uh, as promised, I'm following up a video I did about the idea of a greater Gaza. Uh, I'm following it up with this video about this concept of the greater Israel. And um, I'm not sure if a lot of people are completely familiar with this, but uh, there are variations of what exactly this greater Israel encompasses, and it has a lot of uh, history in Zionist thought, and uh, a lot of the big figures, and uh, certainly a lot of the uh, figures of uh, uh, the pre-independence Israeli state and the post-independence Israeli state, a lot of these uh, major figures like Ben-Gurion and the like, have all discussed uh, the idea of a greater Israel. And in fact, uh, during most of the Arab-Israeli wars, uh, most uh, Israeli military leaders certainly wanted to, to push on and confiscate more land from other Arab countries, most notably uh, Lebanon and Jordan. And um, uh, some of the ideas of a greater Israel are based on claims of wanting the entire original British Palestine uh, mandate and then, interestingly enough, as usual, a lot of the claims of a greater Israel go all the way back to the Bible, um, where uh, both the Bible refers to a region of Israel that uh, has its banks on the Euphrates and stretches across the Middle East. And Theodore Herzl, uh, the, the granddaddy of Zionism, many consider, he even talked about uh, quote, from the brook of Egypt to, to the Euphrates, unquote. So a lot of this uh, concept of greater Israel has to do uh, with expanding Israel to the borders, uh, including parts of Egypt and all the way over to Iraq. And in fact, uh, most concepts of a, a greater Israel involve uh, basically the absorption and annexation of Lebanon, Syria, Jordan, Iraq, Palestine, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, Oman, Yemen, and most of Turkey. So essentially the, the greater portion of the entire Middle East. Other, other maps and other concepts, depending on whether you use the Bible as a reference, early Zionism as a reference, the British Mandate as a reference, or just extreme right-wing uh, Zionist uh, references, uh, you will end up with different maps that include uh, different regions. The, the working model that most people uh, are, are referring to, and I'll, and I'll re attach all these different variations and maps and information below, but uh, most of them only include just parts, uh, include, certainly include all of Palestine and all of present day Israel, but also uh, large portions of Iraq, large portions of Jordan, uh, nearly all of Lebanon, and uh, pretty much confining uh, to that region in, in a little bit of Turkey. And, um, and, and the capture of West, uh, the West Bank at Gaza actually was a part of this original vi vision that the original uh, founding Zionist fathers of, of the state of Israel had. So they got to fulfill uh, parts of their vision, and parts of their vision was also uh, all the occupied lands that we, we see today, including the Golan Heights, which uh, technically still belong to Syria. But uh, one of the things that I think that's interesting about the greater Israel is it's one of those uh, stories where I dig a little deeper and I don't find quite as many, many demons as I might have expected to find. In the case of greater Israel, there there really is no, even though there's uh, extreme right-wing um, uh, figures uh, in Israel and around the world who still talk about this greater Israel, uh, there is no realistic expectations that uh, this greater Israel will ever exist. And so I think there's a pragmatism that makes this idea of a greater Israel uh, very unlikely. And uh, most people in Israel realize this this vision is very unlikely. And, and, and frankly, uh, most of them aren't looking in that direction anymore. But that doesn't mean they don't take this idea uh, pretty seriously, because uh, like I've discussed in other videos, including previous one, they have had plans uh, on the books for the uh, invasion and, and annexation of all the countries in the region around them. But one reason why I don't want to play that up too much is because the United States 
for example, still has contingency plans for the invasion of Canada. But that doesn't mean the United States is going to do it, although considering the direction our country is headed in, I don't want to rule it out. Um, not to mention the plan that for all practical purposes, the United States has probably already annexed Canada. But uh, anyway, um, the fact that uh, Israel has these contingency plans does not necessarily mean anything. And, um, and like uh, many figures in Israel have noted, there's things they probably could have got away with uh, back in the late 40s and 50s uh, that they just can't do now. And, and frankly, uh, I don't think a lot of uh, uh, people in Israel, including the leaders of Israel, would really want to have to uh, manage uh, any of these lands uh, if should they end up in Israeli hands. It just uh, doesn't make sense. But uh, that said, um, certainly they've been in, interested in expanding Israel as much as possible uh, within the, those borders. But that doesn't mean uh, also that uh, Israel wouldn't be in a position to take advantage of uh, any fragmentation that goes on around him. And that's what uh, brings me uh, to discussing uh, the yin Yinon plan, uh, which I'm actually going to do a separate video about. But it's the whole idea of uh, breaking down all the uh, uh, Arab countries all surrounding Israel. And that should sound pretty familiar considering what we see unfolding in the Middle East right now. But basically the dismantling, fragmenting of all these Arab countries around them. And certainly there is an opportunity should these countries like Syria and Iraq uh, fragment more than they are now, um, it, it is within the realm of possibility that some of that land could end up being redistributed and certainly some could end up in uh, Israel's hands. The fact that Israel has uh, occupied the Golan Heights in Syria uh, gives them the perfect opportunity to potentially confiscate more land in that region so it, should Syria um, uh, uh, disintegrate and break into fragments. And uh, so the Yinon, Yinon plan has a lot to do with that, uh, the fragmentation of redrawing of borders. And there's been some who suggest, including myself, the, the idea that one of the uh, potential goals of a, a U.S. and a Western uh, Turkey, Saudi Arabia, Israel backed ISIS is the idea that they can go in there and, and help redraw these borders it would have been very difficult to do under any other conditions, but now that we have ISIS uh, spread across the Middle East uh, dismantling borders themselves, uh, certainly there's an opportunity to there. So uh, so there we have it, the, the idea of a greater Israel has been around for quite some time, but uh, frankly seems like a, a near uh, mythology and certainly nothing to get excited about, finally for once. I'm a useful idiot, don't you be one too?